keep talking like this, and I'm going to forget that you're my future father-in-law. How did it feel, Caleb? How did it feel to know that you murdered the woman you loved? How does it feel to know that you destroyed her entire future? All aboard, guilt trip, leaving the station. Olivia must have been terrified, but that didn't stop you, did it? In fact, I'll wager you even enjoyed it. I never meant to hurt her. Olivia was my life. I loved her. No, real love is about sacrifice, the kind of love that Jack feels for Livy. He'd lay down his life for her. He wouldn't try to take it away. Oh, blah, 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 blah. It's a nice testimonial for Jack, but your daughter wants me. How long before the spell wears off, Caleb? How long before Livy looks at you in disgust? How long before she remembers what she feels for Jack and leaves you alone? That's not gonna happen! Now, what's wrong with this picture? You know what? Too much talking and not enough bleeding. I'm not afraid to die. I'm not afraid. Go ahead. As long as Livy is okay. You don't understand. Killing you, that wouldn't be any fun. I see, I'm gonna turn you. I'm gonna make you one of us. And then you'll bring your daughter to me. I'll never be one of you. I'll fight it. You can't fight it! Don't you get it? Look at Jack. He's trying, he's a mess. The hunger always gets to you. Get the hell away from him! Oh my god! Okay, what just happened here? Did I just scare a vampire? Next question, just go, just run, go! Someone at the hospital. And I just had the sense that you needed me. I do, but you have to make a choice, Michael, once and for all. It's either me or your brother. It's after my baby. You're the only one who can stop him. Oh. Eve, even if I thought I could. You I can. And. You will. I, I know you will, because I know the truth. The truth? The other day, you were praying. I heard you tell God that you'd fallen in love with me. Oh, Eve, you misunderstood. My love for you is is strictly as a friend. It's okay. I, I know you'd never act on those feelings. But I also know it's because of those feelings that you won't turn me away. I'm not sure what you want from me. I want your help. Caleb wants to take away the most precious thing in my life. Eve, you know I would do anything Don't for tell you. me you can't do this! You know what your brother is! You locked him up because of it. You gave me this amulet for protection because of it. You're the only one that knows how to deal with him. I did. But he's much worse now. I don't know what I can do with him. If you have any 
love for me at all, you'll get rid of your brother. It's beyond my control. That's not true. You've always had control over Caleb. That was before. Before he saw Livy. Now. Please, will you please stop telling me that you can't do this? My God, Caleb is preying on an innocent young girl. And he wants my baby. He can't touch you as long as you're wearing the necklace. No, you don't understand. Michael, he has gotten inside my head. I hear his voice, his threats. And, and I don't know if it's real or, or if it's just fear trying to drive me crazy. I, I don't know, but there's nothing I can do to stop it. But you can. You can stop him. Please. Please. I'm begging you. Make you uncomfortable. Of course not. You have to believe me. I never meant for any of this to happen. Okay. I know it's all right. <clears throat> no, it's not all right. I am a priest. And I took a vow before God. Until now, I never questioned it. But you, oh, I have prayed so hard to remain strong. But it's too late. You have stirred these feelings in me that I, I never thought I had. I'm scared, too. Of your brother. Of the feelings I can't deny anymore. And you were right. I am in love with you. You were right. I am in love with you. Lovely evening, Father. Ian. The... I'm sorry. I'm way out of line. I don't know what came over me. You don't, but I do. Okay, please don't. And I can't say that I blame you. I'm not sure I understand. No Eve the way that I do. Can't blame any man for falling in love with her. I don't know what to say. Well, then don't say a thing. Ian, please don't do this. What? Finally something that we agree upon, right? You have feelings for her, I have feelings for her, because we both know what a wonderful person she is. And no, I don't blame you for falling in love with my wife. But it bothers me that you may think, even for one moment, that you could love her more than I already do. I understand. Good. Because she needs your help right now, your brother's threatening her and our baby. I understand that, too. So why are you letting it happen, Michael? I'm... I'm not letting Caleb do anything. You're not stopping it, Father. And all evil needs to triumph is for a few good men to do nothing. I wouldn't say I've done nothing. No? Your brother's out there wreaking havoc. Well, you're in here praying for guidance and strength. I've done more than pray. You know that. For years, I have been my brother's keeper, his jailer. His jailer? His jailer, Michael. Then why is it that you're stuck behind the storm wall? You're saying I've lock myself away. You tell me, Father. Can a man put too much faith in prayer? I don't know anymore. 
Maybe I haven't done enough to stop Kale. You haven't, Michael. But if there ever was a time to set it right, it's no. Many have tried. They want you. You told us yourself. If anyone can stop him, it's you. I'm not sure that's true anymore. Find out. Listen to your heart. Your soul. Be honest with yourself and you'll know what is the right thing to do. Please, Michael. Do you have any idea what you're asking me to do? The only way to end this. You're asking me to, to kill my brother. You're asking me to kill my brother. here to slap my wrist and tell me what a bad boy I've been. Sorry, brother. I'm through talking. It's time. For what? To finish this for good. Only one of us will ever leave this room, Caleb. <sighs> you must come with an open heart. Let's make your choice now. Do you want to be one with me? If you do, say it aloud from the depth of your soul. Yes. Yes, Caleb, with all of my heart. Caleb, come for me. Take me away from this. Please, from them, take me home. You're serious. It's you or me, Caleb. One of us doesn't leave her alive. I'm already not alive. But not in your world anyway. I don't have time to play games tonight, Michael. So let's just skip to the point where you whine for even a baby's life. I deny you and you waddle out of here with your head between your legs. You're right, Caleb. This is no time for games. After all, isn't this supposed to be your wedding night? Hey, you already turned down your invitation. It's too late to change your mind. Oh, but the wedding's going ahead as planned. What do you think? What do I think? I think it's strange to find the... the groom hiding in the church cellar on his wedding night. I think I want to ask what happened, Caleb. What went wrong? Why are you here? And where's your beautiful bride? Where's Olivia? You still haven't answered my question. What went wrong, brother? Nothing. But the wedding didn't happen. It will. There was a... a temporary interference, but nothing I can't handle. You seem so sure. And why shouldn't I be? In the end, I'll still have Olivia and Eve's baby. It's just a little delayed. Is it, Caleb? What does that mean? I'm sensing something else. You're weak. I can feel it. Ah. Something happened, didn't it? Something you don't want to admit. You can't even look at me, can you, kid? I'm sick of looking at you, all right? I've seen enough of your face. And I've seen enough of you to know when you're afraid. That's it, isn't it? It's all making sense now. Something or someone has frightened you. That's why you're here. That's why you're back hiding in the basement. Shut up! You got a glimpse of the future, didn't you? You know what's ahead of you now, don't you, Caleb? It's a one-way ticket to hell, brother. 